life moves in cycles. And it can seem like we're not getting anywhere. But the central message of today is that when we're going through all those things, regardless of what it is in life, we are getting somewhere. It's an immutable rule of existence that you are always getting somewhere, and it's God's intent that that is somewhere good. And it can seem like we're not getting anywhere because it seems like we're just going around through these cycles in life, but that is because God always moves us forward through the use of cycles. This is why there are so many goings and returnings in life. Cycles are the tool through which we grow. Moving softly in secret, in the dark before light, hope for a new day approached in the night. The rooms were all full to the last, with no doubt, so though they wanted to come in, they had to stay out. But there was one small place left with a room to stay, with a small, soft space for this new hope to lay. And because of what shone above, bright and high, regal guests with gifts stopped by. They gave small parts of what was helpful, precious, and sublime as an image of what this little one would bring in abundance in time. For small as the child was, lying sleeping and curled, he would grow to teach love, to heal a wounded world. Now this happened in Bethlehem back a couple thousand years, it's true, but there's another place in time when it can happen too. Moving softly in secret, in the dark before light, hope for a new day approached in the night. The rooms were all full to the last with no doubt, so though they wanted to come in, they had to stay out. But there was one small place left with room to stay, with a small soft space for this new hope to lay. And because of what shone above bright and high, regal guests with gifts stopped by. They gave small parts of what was helpful, precious, and sublime as an image of what this little one would bring in abundance, in time. For small as the child was, lying sleeping and curled, he would grow to teach love, to heal a wounded world. We've all been through the night, in one way or another, but we can all see the light, receive the love, and pass it on to each other. And you might be thinking, me? This will never work, it can't be true, but hey, if it happened for Scrooge, couldn't it happen for you? So if you look at the seasons of our life, yes, there are some times when it's like spring and everything feels new and you're excited about what's coming up and it's pleasant. In that season, God is giving you what you need for happiness as much as possible then, but most importantly, to make sure we're getting somewhere in that season. So when that season ends, we're farther along than we were. And it gets to be summer, and everything is bright, and the living is easy, as they say. Things are going well, things are working out like you'd maybe even want them to, you're feeling happy. In that season, we can be moving forward. Because we can be taking that happiness, storing it up. We can be using it to inspire ourselves, to give that happiness to others. Ooh, God knows what we need in that season. He'll give us that there. When it gets to be fall, when it looks like things are ending and we're starting to lose some confidence and hope, there's food in that season. And God is going to make sure that we get what we need so that by the end of fall, we're a little further up that staircase, if I may mix metaphors like that, which I'm going to. Who's going to stop me at this point? And when it's winter, and it seems like nothing is growing, there's food in that season. When it's despair, when everything is dark, when it's cold, when every day is a struggle and we're huddling around the little bits of warmth that we can find, there's food in that season. God is going to use that 
to get us somewhere in all the seasons of life and through the seasons. One preparing us for the next, preparing us for the next. We are taking our journey. We're going up. We're going to where it's warmer. We're going to where it's lighter. This is the constant aim of divine providence, getting us to where that light shines.